What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV, and unfortunately, man, this is uh, starting to happen too frequently as of late. I have some sad news to uh, give you all, especially those who are fans of Major League Baseball. Tim Wakefield, a member of two World Series championship Red Sox teams, and one of the longest tenured and most accomplished players in Red Sox history has died. He was 57 years old. A master of the confounding knuckleball, Mr. Wakefield had a 19-year career in the majors, the last 17 coming with the Red Sox from 1995 to 2010. He remained with the team as honorary chairman of the Red Sox Foundation, building what amounted to a second career based on charitable endeavors. According to friends, Mr. Wakefield's death was the result of a seizure related to a recent diagnosis of brain cancer. His uh, health issues was only recently disclosed by former teammate Kurt Schilling um, when, and I think the controversy around that was it was not, um, he didn't get clearance from Tim Wakefield or his family, or his wife, or whoever, to release this information. As a matter of fact, not only was Tim Wakefield on, was not only was he suffering from cancer, his wife also, now widow, uh, is suffering from cancer. So put her under your best wishes. Uh, you know, this is. Um, It's sad, man. He was a member of the Red Sox Hall of Fame. His 17 seasons, the most in team history for a pitcher. Only Carl Yastrzemski, Dwight Evans, and Ted Williams played longer. Mr. Wakefield set team records with 430 starts with 3,006 innings. He was second in appearances, 590, and strikeouts, 2,590. And his 186 victories trail only Roger Clemens and Cy Young. Mr. Wakefield was an American League All-Star in 2009 and appeared in 18 postseason games from 1992 to 2008. 16 of them were with the Red Sox. He was a 2010 winner of baseball's prestigious Roberto Clemente Award for his charitable work off the field. Mr. Wakefield also worked as an analyst for NESN and was a frequent visitor to Fenway Park in that capacity. Tim Wakefield, Red Sox great, has passed away at the age of 57. 